it's a little bit foggy today so I'm starting with the Palazzo Vecchio and here it is but this time without the sun it seems there is something in front I hope it's open I don't understand what's happening, but apparently only the second floor is open today. That's the thing apparently, but I can still have a view of the room. done this it's now 11 and 10 minutes oh, I'm thinking yeah that's um, because I still haven't had those gnocchi at the market I'm just thinking about food all the time but whatever because the next thing I want to visit the church is a bit far away and it's not too far from the market though well, because it's 11 and 10 I'm thinking I'm going to go to the market by the time I get there, it's going to be probably 11.30, which is not too early to have lunch. I'm at the Duomo. And look, the weather is starting to be a bit nicer. The Mercato. And the one I actually wanted to try is the recommendation of the day. Uh, so very fantastic. That's just so good. Mm, so good. So that was excellent again. And it's really nice because it's really cold. So it's nice to eat some warm lunch. Um, and it's fast and it's excellent. So yeah, that's perfect. So now I'm going to the Basilica di Santa Maria Novella. So that's this church and that's actually the one, the first one that I saw when I came from the airport on the first day. And so that right in front is the Piazza Santa Maria Novella.
La Plaza, Piazza. All right, so that was really nice, but it's really cold. And it's only like, it's sort of okay. It's actually warm if you're outside in the sun, which is just really not the case with churches. You're just inside and it's so cold. So yeah, but that was great though. Well. All right, so now I'm on my way to Museo Novecento, which should be actually just right next to it. I think it's actually right in front on the other side of Piazza. Look, I think it's actually that. So that's this. Alright, so I've done this museum, the Museo Novecento. Um, it was nice, but not really, really big. And it's 2.30 and I'm done already, 2.40 and I'm done already. So I've done everything I wanted to do for today. So I think I'm just going to walk in the streets, in the little streets and um, go to what Ponte Vecchio because I really like that place so yeah I'm going to walk in the streets and along the river that is Ponte alla Caraia That the next bridge is Ponte Santa Trinita and the one after is the Ponte Vecchio. Ponte Santa Trinita. And there's a view on Ponte Vecchio from this bridge. So that was the Ponte alla Caraia. I am right now on Ponte Santa Trinita and this is Ponte Vecchio. How can that be comfy? Ponte Santa Trinita and Ponte Vecchio. I'm on Ponte Vecchio right now. Piazza della Repubblica. There's a map, so that's Ponte Vecchio, Palazzo Vecchio, Duomo, Piazza della Repubblica, so that's where I am currently. I have not seen the statues that are there. Right, low battery. So I saw a lot of those Chino and I have no idea what that is. I think it's a type of citrus citrus and it's black. I saw in the transparent bottles that it's black. So I'm thinking maybe it's some sort of Coca-Cola. But it didn't say that there was any caffeine in it. Estratto di cinotto. So yeah, cino, cinotto. Cinotto is a sparkling Italian soft drink named after the small bitter citrus fruit of the myrtle-leaved orange tree. The tree is believed to have originated in China, hence the name. Today, cinotto fruit is mostly cultivated in Italy, where the peel extract is an essential ingredient in Italian bitters, amari. It's not bad, but it is a very specific taste, as they say. Per un gusto inconfondibile. Yeah, for an unmistakable taste. It's not bad, but it's really... Like, the first taste is sweet, like soft of sweet lemon, and then bitter, but like really bitter. Like when you... If you are trying to eat the peel. Not bad, but I've never tasted something like this.
and I walked only 8 kilometers. Okay, but yeah, that was a good day. I will see you in the next video for tomorrow. See you.